Right now at 5.30, nearly a year after a deadly fire, Rockland County officials take control of Spring Valley's building inspections. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back to the broadcast. The state demanded change after a tragic fire that killed a firefighter last spring. And officials tell CBS 2's Nick Calloway building inspectors have their hands full with a backlog. That long list totals about 800 inspections and complaints that have piled up in Spring Valley and are now the responsibility of Rockland County's brand new Office of Buildings and Codes. It comes nearly a year after the fire at the Evergreen Court Homes in Spring Valley that killed volunteer firefighter Jared Lloyd. Rockland County Executive Ed Day says it's about correcting dangerous conditions that put lives at risk. We all know we've already lost a hero firefighter here in Rockland, in Spring Valley. Uh, we cannot allow things like happen happen ever again. That fire, along with a history of dysfunction and corruption within the village's building department, led to the county takeover. Unlike the previous village building department administration, the administration, not the inspectors, a culture of corruption will not be tolerated. The newly created department consists of 20 certified code inspectors tasked with conducting long overdue inspections of homes, businesses, and gathering sites. Officials say some conditions that were ignored in the past will be addressed. Ed Marcunis was appointed as director of the department. Make no mistakes, we will not hesitate to issue fines to those in violations of the state codes. An old cafeteria in a county office building in Pomona was converted to house the new buildings and codes department. A satellite office will also be opened a few miles away in Spring Valley. The county executive said this is meant to be a temporary move and eventually control will be given back to Spring Valley when the state gives the okay. Officials say they do expect to see some resistance in carrying out those inspections, but they say if anyone denies entry to an inspector, they will get a warrant. In Spring Valley, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. And we reached out to the Spring Valley Mayor's Office. So far, no response. County officials also announcing a 30-day moratorium on new building permits in Spring Valley to help inspectors get through the backlog of complaints.